Coming up, a really interesting report. I had no idea that doctors could literally look into the future and tell women like me who are in their late 30s how much time they still have to get pregnant. And Tom, you have a special report that explains all of this. Yeah, a lot of women today, for whatever reason, are starting their families a little later. So they want to know how much time do I have? when she will go through menopause. You're getting older and you know that clock is ticking. Next, how an ultrasound can help determine what age you're most likely to become infertile. Tonight, Fox's hit show House focused on the frustrating problem of infertility. If you're a young woman, you may wonder how long you can put off having a family without the risk of becoming infertile. A local doctor is using a common and simple method to answer that question what it is, how it works, and what it can tell you in tonight's special Health Watch. Many women get ultrasounds to check on the progress of a pregnancy, but Michelle Schreiner is getting one to see if she can get pregnant. I always planned on having, I don't know, a couple kids by now, and it hasn't worked out that way. Michelle wants to make sure she's fertile before she has her fiancé undergo a vasectomy reversal. At age 39, she worries about her biological clock. I think of that every day because I thought, well, you know, you're getting older and you know that clock is ticking. As a teenager, a woman has roughly 400,000 eggs, but about a thousand will die every month as she ages and she will have fewer good eggs. The incidence of infertility in 20 year olds is about 1%. Dr. Sherman Silver heads the Infertility Center of St. Louis at St. Luke's Hospital. But in 28 year olds, it's already up to 16%. And by the time you're 35, 25 percent of women are infertile. And by the time you're 40, uh, the majority of women are infertile. Michelle hopes she's not in that majority. While age gives you a rough idea of what time it is on your biological clock, some women are endowed with more eggs than others. Dr. Silver believes he has a better way to predict fertility. It's a simple ultrasound technique that only takes minutes. This is Michelle's right ovary and the black circles are the follicles on her ovary. The antral follicles are fluid-filled areas where eggs can grow and mature. You can't see eggs with the naked eye, so radiology technician Mary Williams will count the number of antral follicles, those black circles. Like this one, that one, um, that one. That number is directly proportional to the total number of eggs that you have left in your ovaries. So there's one, two, three, four, Normally, a young woman would have around 30 antral follicles at any one time. Her total is placed in a mathematical formula based on huge studies. Well, by putting it into that mathematical curve, we can tell them when they're likely to become infertile, whether it's in five years or ten years or one year. Ten, eleven, twelve. I would say she has twelve antral follicles. That's twelve on the right ovary, now to the left. And I'll go through and count the antral follicles on this ovary. So one, two, three, four. For Michelle, the procedure is painless, but a little nerve-wracking. When she was counting, I'm just like, God, keep going higher, keep going higher. And she did. Seven, eight, I would say eight on the left, so a few less than the right. A grand total of 20, and at age 39, that's good news. She's great. Uh, she's very, very fortunate. I'd be happy if I see a 30-year-old with an antral follicle count of 20. She's probably got 50,000 or 75,000 eggs left. I felt good. I mean, the results, I was very excited. I was very happy. She's likely to have another five years of fertility. Knowing what time it is on her biological clock renews Michelle's dream to have children. It makes me want to, you know, try to, be able, try to conceive as soon as possible. Um, I'd like to have at least one, if not two, but I'd be happy with one. So what if the procedure shows you're fertile, but your time is running out? Doctors can now freeze your eggs or ovarian tissue for use later. And this is amazing, Tom. This could actually help people in their, in their family planning decide oh, whether absolutely. to adopt mm -hmm. or whether to continue trying to get pregnant. But just how accurate is it for a 39-year-old woman? Dr. Silver says by the time you're 39 with fewer good eggs and mm -hmm. fewer eggs overall, it's very accurate. Very accurate. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost? Well, any woman, first of all, could have this ultrasound, but you do need a referral from your OBGYN. And it takes about 10 to 15 minutes and costs around $500 for the ultrasound. 10 to 15 minutes. Hmm. Very quick. 
To learn more about the procedure, you can pick up Dr. Silber's new book, How to Get Pregnant.